This is very exciting and brand new. We now have Moringa animal feed pellets. This is 100% USDA certified organic Moringa powder. It's very, very high quality. There's no additives or preservatives. It's literally just straight Moringa powder. And it's a supplement that you're going to add to your dog food. Your dog food uh, is lacking vitamins and minerals and it's filled with starch and processed um, meal from animals and other things and, and vegetables. And uh, they need vitamins and minerals and protein. And Moringa has all of that, all non-essential amino acids, all nine non-essential amino acids. It's got calcium, potassium, magnesium, iron. It's really good. It's got high in fiber. And you would add this 5% to your dog bowl. So it's really just a couple of pellets every single day to your dog. And it's also good for cats, goats, chickens, pigs, horses, cows, especially if you're like raising cattle and you want to get your calves big and strong super fast. Just put a couple of pellets in their normal food as an added supplement and you will have a faster growth rate, leaner, muscular, healthier, less hormones, less injections, less vaccines. All of that stuff is going to help you when adding just a few pellets to your animal's diet every single day. And when you're at the shop and you pick up your animal pellets, don't forget to pick up your human consumption products as well as your plant fertilizer as well. Moringa is beneficial for people, pets, and plants. And we now have our brand new animal feed pellets available for you. Super fresh, USDA certified organic. So grab yours today. Let's go ahead and jump right in and do a quick little harvest. I got Gandhi over here. Hey, Gandhi boy. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Grow Moringa Farms. Got the hat cam on. And I'm going, going in, going in. So let's go ahead and go in to the forest. And we're just gonna grab anything that's really tall and lanky, anything that's coming in the middle here. And we're just gonna grab everything while we're out here and get anything back that's just really tall and lanky. And while we're doing that, I can really just keep the sticks out here, which is really nice. In this method now that we're here, finally in the middle of summer, and I can just harvest really quickly out here any, any tall branches. I'm just kind of grabbing anything in the middle and anything that's going tall. I'm just going to grab a few greens off of each tree while we're out here together. So thank you very much for joining me out here in the field. We've got lots, lots and lots of growth. Trees are getting nice and big. It's time to get in here and also do some weeding. Lots of vines coming up in here and the trees are starting to stretch. I planted 50,000 Moringa seeds in the field here in April and now all of them are like five foot tall right here. So this is really nice to see. These are all the mature trees that are getting big for shipping. Oh good, the beauty berries taken well. Right now we had, you know, we had a storm a couple weeks ago. And so everything lost a lot of greens. So we're really just able to grab the tops right now. And so what this is doing is helping to restart these, these branches and, and flush these trees back out again. And just grabbing anything at the very tips 
like we're doing here now to just bring each tree back a little bit. We just don't want any big branches stretching. And so we're just gonna go grab a few big ones from each tree here. If, it, if they're yellow, I don't really need to put them, put them in there. I can just put them down back on the ground as a fertilizer. This field is just gonna get more and more nutritious. I can almost get in these trees into their second tier. And that'll be my goal here as I just continue to bring the trees back <clears throat> to this height and it's going to continue to thicken thicken these these trees up nicely so we already have even just a nice little harvest of greens i just need to do this every day every morning or every evening preferably in the morning while the the sap is still high in the tree. Very nice. You can see lots of yellowing happening down low. So this is going to give them a good restart push them back out we still have another couple months of season and harvest thank you miss moringa i could probably take the wheelbarrow back there this is nice quick easy gentle way of just being able to keep up with the trees and also just make a quick harvest put them on the racks get back to business I've got lots of things to do in the shop. We've got about 10 orders right now that we need to fulfill. Together I have my helper here, uh, Maria, and she's really, really great in making, making things. We'll separate the flowers a little bit later. At least I'll have them in there. And so we have a good support system, a good network of people that are now helping us all across the board. Let's just go ahead and bring this in here. I'll just come right down the middle here and, and see if we can't grab more here. We're just going to grab a few. You can see that um, this is uh, now, this is it. This is literally it. This is, this is it. We made it. This is all that I need to do for the rest of my life is provide a good product, have healthy trees. Now that the trees are finally established here, we have about a half acre of fully established trees. I can now continue to expand all the way down. Oh, look, we might be getting a little bit of rain. So it might be good to just get in here now that we got a few. Yep, looks like it's about to rain. It's a nice little harvest. I just need to do this every single day to continue bringing these trees back. All right, let's do it. Before it gets too wet, we'll just come in. So I appreciate everybody for coming in. Looks like we got a little bit of a harvest in. It's starting to rain already. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming out. Much love, peace. Hey, we're back. We just had a little bit of a rain and it feels so nice out. Let's get this in before it gets too hot and uh, let's grab some of these trees. Keep coming and keep hanging out with me. I'm Kendrick Henry, your local USA Moringa farmer. 
Let's get the hat cam back. And let's get one more round at least here at Grow Moringa Farms in Plant City. Look at all these beautiful trees. Here we have a half acre plot right now with about 100 or 200 or so of big trees, maybe even like 150, not even, of some big trees. And we've got 50,000 little trees in here that are starting to grab, hold, and get a good footing. We need to just walk through these aisles and grab anything that is getting really tall. And then I got my gloves on now so I can do this a lot faster with, say, hurting my fingers. Gloves really help to give you a little bit of extra power and, and protection. Out here, especially when I'm doing that, my, my thumb was starting to get a little raw there. So just by doing that right there with gloves on is helpful. So let's get anything that's in the middle here. And just kind of crowding this tree. Thank you, Miss Moringa. Boom. Now we can just really quickly grab that. Yeah, this is really working out well. I love this. I love this method here. Being on the farm is really nice. I'm not at someone else's location. It's not like I have to rush and get over here and get the greens on the on the rack. Literally, those other ones are already washed up and on the racks. And so they're, they're not gonna lose their color. They're gonna maintain their vibrancy and their green, which is really important for high quality and for our customers to really um, come back and shop with us. Cause when they order usually Moringa online somewhere else, they'll call me and say, hey, I just bought this on you know what, and it's brown, it, it doesn't smell fresh and so they're calling me because they want to get the good stuff the local stuff the USA stuff the fresh stuff and that's what we're building here with our network I need a hundred people doing this putting all of their supply into the pot so that way we can fulfill large large orders right now I get orders for 100 kilos a month, but I can't keep up with it because I really can only do a few pounds a week myself. And so I'm able to do a couple pounds a week, which is a good business. It's about six figures a year. And um, I want to get to six figures a month, seven figures a month for the company. And the way that we're going to do that is by using everyone's supply here. I'm not really interested in like importing and selling import Moringa. Um, I'm interested in selling local USA Moringa. That's where a lot of people who call me to try to sell me their Moringa. I'm not necessarily going to buy imported Moringa. We don't really have a have a market for that here other than for plant products and animal products. You know, we use the, the import for certain things, but if it's just straight human consumption, then we're gonna make sure that it's the highest quality from the best source out here. Like this, here we go. Got this nice big tree here and we've got a get the vines off of it. So just coming in here is helpful just to bring the weeds back, clean up the trees.
Nice. This is, I think, kudzu. The air potato. And because I got a lot of mulch dropped off here for free, some of the roadways are covered in this stuff. And so they brought the seed out here with them. You know, I didn't normally have these out here. But our job is to eradicate them with supplemental plants out here. I, I got to get grasses out here that'll separate zones to keep the weeds and the vines from crossing those, those thresholds. And so I know what needs to be done out here to help really reduce the amount of weeds. This is just really like day one for me in a sense, because now I finally have my own farm and it takes, takes years, it takes years to establish the soil and the plant life and the, uh, <laughs> oops, hopefully we're still good there. Let's see. Yeah, we're still good. We just got knocked. <laughs> it's all right. Get her cleaned up, brought her back, and get some of these vines off of here. Anything that's kind of just come in the middle, getting cut, cut back, and grabbing some of these greens, caring for our babies. This is it. This is what I was saying is like, we have now reached the ultimate level of farming where we're supplying from our own stock. We have revenue streams coming in from different products. We have memberships coming in for teaching and educating. We have visitors coming in to pick up fresh, you pick. And we have farms that are buying thousands of trees at a time. I've got to actually call a member back. He hit me up the other day and he's in Punta Gorda. And, uh, or he's on Pine Island and he has a coconut grove but he also has access to an, a Moringa orchard, an old Moringa orchard, maybe 10, 10 years old. And uh, it's suffering, but he wants to go ahead and get it going again, start it up fresh, get some new trees in. We'll get one more off of this one and we'll keep going because we got a couple other tall ones that we want to grab. Looks like there's, uh, yeah, there's just, it's just every day. I got to come through here every day now. Just get a little bit of each one. Like this right here, it doesn't need to be so, so crazy and wonky. We can really clean it up. Grab, grab the greens while we do it. Thin things out that are not serving the tree, that are just sucking and going straight up. And then um, grabbing anything that's just kind of in the middle. See how we're just grabbing a little bit of greens off of that. That's why I want to just get everything back down short, especially on these trees to restart them. They're already stretching and yellowing out anyways. So let's get them all back. Nice. This is peak Moringa season. It's August. This is like what I've been dreaming of is, is August. <laughs> so let's see here. I, I could take this off here and it could continue to come out, which I think I might go ahead and do. It's like if I take this off here, that took up a couple things, but now it's coming out like this. And so then if I take this, take this, and take that, that'll now start pushing out, out here and pushing it out a little bit further. 
there was an instance back there on another tree where I, I didn't do that. And I ended up shortening that width of it. And I saw that and I was like, Ooh, that tree could have been a lot wider if I wouldn't had taken that piece right there. But you know, what's going to happen is possibly the frost is going to come through and it's going to damage all of the trees that are above ground anyways. And so maybe one year, one year, I may have to restart all the way from the ground. So all the work that I'm doing with structuring the trees is gonna be, be undone in the winter time. And that's happened to me before where I've built up an orchard, had the trees looking really good like this, and then a frost came through and it wiped out the whole field and the whole field, I had to bring back the whole field to the ground. And that was in uh, 2017. I remember that frost, 2017 frost was pretty serious. And I was just kind of really getting started and I had access to a, to a big Moringa orchard at the time. And I still do, it's down the street actually from here. It's just, I'm so busy with my own property that I don't have time to really manage too many other properties. But what the company is trying to do, the Gromering Collective, is try to manage those members and those locations by finding them harvesters, by putting them in touch with people that wanna do the work and earn some extra income, literally just doing this. coming out to a field and harvesting for a couple hours, making a day's worth of work and going to the next field. You know, we need traveling harvesters that are willing to travel to different um, locations. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a nice little rain coming down. All right, I got most of that tree. Let's keep going. We'll come back to that tree another time. Let's go back here where some of these are pretty tall. I mean, now I'm going into parts of the field that, that I just recently established like last year. And these trees are getting pretty big. I'm so happy to see this. Nature is taking over here. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Love being able to come out and talk with you guys. I got lots of comments in here. So if you could comment on this video, if you have any questions about how to make extra income, let me know if you're interested in the business side of things. We can get you trained up. And there's options even as a member to even become an owner of the company. We structure the company like a cooperative. And we give our members an opportunity to share in the profit. You know, very soon we will be more profitable. Right now we're just kind of getting out of the startup phase and getting our systems down, our pricing down our shop, shipping costs, and everything organized. See, I'm just taking this one from the middle here. It's helping to bring that out a little bit further there, like that. Looks like it's starting to drizzle a little bit more again, so we might just call this video, and now that we've got a full load here, I was able to get two full loads, and we'll just, we'll just keep doing this. So I'm gonna do this every day with you, so thanks for hanging out. I'll get in now that I got a couple, a couple of branches here. So thank you very much for coming in, liking this video, subscribing to the Grow Moringa YouTube channel. We're going to keep working together, harvesting and capturing this uh, wonderful goodness. So thank you. Thank you very much for coming in. I'm Kendrick Henry, your local USA Moringa farmer. It looks like we're fighting the rain again. So peace and love.